Hi, I'm Celeste Toms, and I belong to a church called Rochester Outreach Community Church right here in Rochester, New York. Our mission is to lift up Christ while serving humanity. Now we are a small church, so small we don't have a church building just yet. We have been worshiping in a small room in the apartment building of one of our church members. Now this presents a interesting challenge. It is hard for us to start and grow ministries. And with that limitation, we didn't even think it was possible to start something as simple as a children's church. But one day, one young man, about seven or eight years old, we could not quiet this kid down. No matter what we tried, we tried to give him paper to color with, anything to get him to be quiet during church, but nothing worked. It became so disruptive that we had to stop our church service to try to quiet him down. We took him outside to a small room that's attached to the room that we worship in. My friend, Shaniqua Shine, brought this young man to church along with her kids. And when she heard what had happened, the first thing that she said was, we need to have a children's church. And two weeks later, that's exactly what we did. We grew from just one kid that first week to now we have so many children joining our class that we have quickly outgrown that little room. And we were not discouraged one bit by having one student. We were determined that no matter how many kids, even if there were none, we were gonna continue to have children's church because we wanted the, everyone to know that we were very serious about starting and growing this ministry. We have done stories from creation, Noah's Ark, God is Love, Daniel and the Lion's Den, and most recently, Joseph and His Dreams, where the kids made t-shirts, their own unique version of their coat of many colors. Shaniqua and I have been so excited about what we've been doing with Children's Church that we had a Children's Day where the theme was heaven. When the kids walked into the door, they were greeted by an angel that gave them a crown. And the whole day was just for them. We even invited an upcoming youth pastor, Jordan Houston, who just graduated from Oakwood. He grew up right here in Rochester. And he joined us for our day of heaven and gave a wonderful sermon. And the adults have been supporting us so much that they have been donating their time, their resources, lessons, as well as food. I have been even using a resource from LifeChurch.tv. LifeChurch gives all of their resources away for free on their website. So we have been using some of their kids' stories to give a unique, interactive church experience and the kids are loving it. So you see, through that one kid, that one day, something that seemed like it may have been a disruption, sparked a huge idea that God could take and grow into a huge ministry. I wanna thank you guys for taking the time to listen to me talk about our little ministry and how much we have grown in just a short period of time. We have only been doing Children's Church for five months and we are only getting bigger and we are more excited than ever to continue to grow. So of course, to extend our ministry, we would like you guys to just continue to pray for us. It has been a challenge to get a building and we are facing some obstacles, but we know the right building is out there and God is gonna bless us to get it. And if you really want to know more information about all the things that we're doing, please come to our website at ROCC sda.org or go to our Facebook page. Just search Rochester Outreach Community Church and you will get up-to-date information about all the things that we are doing, including the progress we are making in getting a church. Thank you guys again for listening. Go follow us on Facebook. Take care and God bless.